Gareth Southgate is considering his future as the England manager following their quarterfinal exit from the World Cup. Let's go live to Rob Dorset in Doha to get more on this. Rob, a very good morning to you. So we're three days on from that exit. Any further indication as to which way Southgate is leaning towards in terms of his future with England? Well, Simon, yeah, I've got, I've got an, an update which I think is interesting and, and potentially significant. Depends how much you read into it, so let me explain. We told you yesterday on Sky Sports News that uh, Gareth Southgate is considering leaving his role as England manager and he wants to take some time to consider that. Well, I've been told today of some conversations that Gareth Southgate has had with some England players which might hint that he is yet to decide and there's a possibility that he could yet stay on until after Euro 2024, which of course is when his contract uh, expires. Um, I've been told that in the aftermath of England's World Cup quarterfinal defeat to France, uh, Gareth Southgate spoke specifically to a number of the players who didn't feature much, or if at all, in this tournament, to reassure them that they were still part of his plans going forward with England. Now, before the, the squad left for Qatar, before he left Qatar, rather, I should say, and, and despite that disappointment of being knocked out by, by France, the manager wanted to, to kind of speak to those players who hadn't played much um, and, and reassure them, if you like, about the future, their future, and you can read into it, I think, a little bit, his future as well. The fact that the manager wanted to give some counsel to, to the squad's fringe players about their England futures, I think, is significant. The obvious question would be, why would he do that if he didn't plan to continue on as England manager and more crucially if he has planned to leave he can't offer those players any guarantees about their future involvement with England because that'll be down to a future England manager who comes after him but I understand that he spoke to the likes of James Madison, Trent Alexander-Arnold, uh, Connor Cody, Connor Gallagher and the two unused goalkeepers Nick Pope and Aaron Ramsdale to reassure them that they still have a role to play for England going forward. Um, but how can he do that if he doesn't know what his own future with England is? Remember, he said the last time he spoke to the media was after that defeat to France. Uh, so we're talking Saturday night, several days ago. And he said, these tournaments take a lot out of you. I need time to reflect. We've done that after every tournament. It's the right thing to do. I don't want to be four or five months down the line thinking I've made the wrong call. It's too important for everybody to get that wrong. So I understand that he's told his FA bosses that he wants some time to reflect before he discusses this with them going forward. But just that hint there, maybe, that by talking to the players who didn't feature much at this World Cup in Qatar, that they're still very much part of his England plans for the future. Maybe just a suggestion there that he's, he's, he's hoping and planning to stay on as England boss. They're all hints. We shouldn't go too categorical in either direction. Uh, yesterday, we were feeling that maybe Southgate was erring towards stepping away. Today, these, these stories that I'm being told suggest maybe he's erring on staying. I think the truth is somewhere in between. I don't think Gareth Southgate knows himself yet, and he may take the Christmas period to consider that before he discusses it with his bosses at the FA. That is interesting, nevertheless, Robert. And just in terms of, of timescales, it's over three months until that European qualification campaign begins against Italy. So he's got time if he decides to stay, but worry to turn around to the FA and say, look, I've taken this England side as far as I can. I, I want to move on to something else. They, they need to get the new person in ASAP to begin the process of preparation for, for March. So is there any kind of pressure from the FA on Southgate to make a decision sooner rather than later? I don't think there is any pressure from the FA. They are giving Gareth Southgate the time that he needs to consider his position. And I think after all that he's done for them, the incredible six years that England have had under Gareth Southgate, and just how much those FA bosses want him to stay, that's the only course of action they have, in truth. Um, but you're quite right. There's two differing uh, imperatives here, if you like. There's the future of Gareth Southgate that he's deciding for himself. What's the best step for him? Has he had enough of the, the politics of England, being the spokesperson for the FA on all the matters of politics and, and ethics in the world outside of football? Does he want to go back to club management and prove a point there? Yes, he does want to do that. But when does he want to do that? That's the key question. So there's the Gareth Southgate deciding his own future bit, but there's also the FA and their future planning bit. And my understanding is that they haven't really got a succession plan in place for Gareth Southgate because they've got this contract with him for another two years and they thought he would see that out. And there isn't an obvious candidate to replace Gareth Southgate. That's a crucial 
one. Yes, we're hearing about Maurizio Pochettino, Thomas Tuchel, Brendan Rodgers potentially being in the in the mix as well to replace Gareth Southgate should he decide to leave. I, I think the FA, from talking to people high up in the organisation over the past six months and beyond, I think they feel that Gareth Southgate has broken the mould to a certain extent and they want somebody that's English, they want somebody that understands the pathway uh, that can bring young players through, that'll work with the under-21s and be very much an FA man, if you like, or woman, because there is Serena Wiegmann, of course, who one or two people have mentioned the brilliant job she's done with the Lionesses. She, could she be in the frame to take over in the men's team? I think you, people are talking about Eddie Howe, who's doing brilliant things with Newcastle. Um, so I, I don't think he would be keen on, on leaving that. Um, you've also got Steve, Scott, uh, Steve Cooper at Nottingham Forest, uh, who has history with the FA, but is a proud Welshman. So there are a lot of names that I'm sure the FA would want to speak to, but no obvious candidate, if you like. And so they would need time to try and appoint the new man and get him right. And England play the biggest game in their European qualifiers against Italy in Naples in March. So if you're getting after Christmas, there isn't a lot of time to get a new person in place to take over from Gareth Southgate. So I think you're quite right. I think... The FA will want this resolved as soon as possible. Gareth Southgate is clearly wanting to take a bit of time to reflect. I don't expect the FA to put pressure on him. I think that's the last thing they will do. But they will keen, be very, very keen to get this resolved one way or another for sure. Rob, thank you very much.